You see the baby? Yeah. Yeah. Is that your brother? Yeah. Yeah. Careful. Oh, he trying to yeah. buckle his thing. The baby. Yeah. Yeah, kisses. Mm -hmm. Dad. Yeah. That's Isaac. Dad. Baby. Dad. Okay. Dad. Careful. Gentle. Okay. He's a baby. I know you don't understand. But that's your baby brother. How you feel? Yeah. Oh. That's the eyes, man. That's my eyesy. Oh, he's so sweet. Rocking the baby. You gotta be gentle. Good job. So we are finally at home. I'm so happy to be home. Isaac is right here. I thought he wanted to nurse, but I guess I got the wrong cue. He is so cute. Like, oh, I'm just so in love. Look at you. Look at you. I'm so in love with him. So, yeah, I'm in mommy, mommy bliss right now. Alexander is a really great big brother. Look at him trying to snap the. <laughs> Good job. He like to snap stuff on and off. So he's snapping the seat together for the baby. He's being really, really good. And I'm finishing off y'all my pizza. Who would have thought this is my last meal before I went into labor, but. <laughs> yeah, this is mommy life. Two babies. Oh! So sweet. Giving him kisses. <laughs> He's trying to wipe his face. Daddy. You're such a big helper. Good morning. Say good morning. Say good morning, Al. Oh, no. Okay. Say good morning, the yeah. eyes, man. Say good morning, eyes. Say hi. Say hi. Now this boy can eat. And eat 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 and these milk boobies ain't no joke. These things is working. Dada. Yeah, you see Isaac? Okay. Is that the baby? Okay. Yeah. You say hi. 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 Yeah, you say hi too. Yay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like he said hi too, huh? I think he. Oh, he's trying to get you. Hey. Isaac trying to get you. Yeah. <laughs> you look at that big yawn. He's so tiny. I forgot how small newborns are, but him being so little, it makes Alexander look like like a big kid. <laughs> like you just like a big kid now. You're not my baby baby no more. Oh, you didn't like that. I'm sorry. You are my baby baby. You always my baby baby. <laughs> Look at his little feet. I'm obsessed with baby feet. Look at that. Little feet. My little burrito baby. My little burrito. Today was a long day. I don't know, like... And I had a, just a breakdown. Like, <laughs> I had a whole breakdown in the cafeteria. And, yeah. I was trying so hard to, like, suck my tears in. Because I'm like, I'm in public. I'm around people. Like, I don't even know why I'm crying. I tried so hard to, like, just keep it in. But it's just. Like, I just exploded and just started crying. I was a wreck. Postpartum depression is really real. This time, it just feels worse. Like, it just... And, you know, the lady, when you at the hospital and everything, you tell them that you had postpartum depression before when they asked you. And um, she was telling me it's... Um, she was telling me it's very likely 
to happen a second time and i was just like you know yeah whatever i didn't really think about it but it like hit me hard today and it was just out of nowhere it wasn't even anything like wrong with me i don't think it just was like emotions like it was really crazy it was weird um i never experienced that before honestly didn't know why i was crying i honestly didn't know why i had a panic attack like in public i did i never experienced that before having a anxiety a panic attack out in public anyway so i'm in the cafeteria i was it was about i was by myself with isaac it was just me and him so i think that might have played a part in it that i was maybe nervous um being out with him this was the first time me being out with him by myself so that might have played a part in my anxiety it was just like an overload but anyway um i was in the um, cafeteria getting, getting some food and you know people coming up to you you got a new baby it's like oh he's so cute so um a lady stopped and she was like oh he's so cute yeah how old is he blah 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 and I just got like really anxious like I just started feeling I don't know and then uh, other people was like looking at the looking at him and I just got really like real nervous I don't know like I was trying to gather my food and I was trying to leave and then I end up dropping stuff like i dropped my ketchup and it spilled all over the floor so i was really after that i was just really like panicking like low-key panicking i could just feel my eyes getting really hot and then somebody else came over to help and um try to get the ketchup cleaned up and that made me even more like my anxiety it was just like on 10 like i'm shaking i'm about to cry and i don't know why and i'm just like oh my god i'm overthanking these people for helping me clean up the ketchup and everything so i'm just like ready to get out of there so i uh, anyway i get my food i get out of there i'm going to get like forks and stuff and i could feel myself about to cry and i'm just like what is like what's, what's wrong with me the guy um it sounded like he was kind of like in charge of the cafeteria but anyway he came out he was eating his lunch too and he was just like um you know cute baby and stuff um is, are, is this your first one i was like no my second and then i just broke down like i just broke down crying. he helped me get to a table and everything he was really nice didn't really ask questions he just helped me sit down i'm sure they probably seen that time and time again because postpartum depression really is real and sometimes you just have these emotions that you can't control you have these emotions that you can't explain and part of it is science i mean our body is releasing a whole bunch of hormones like we've been pregnant for nine months or however long you've been pregnant and now those hormones are being released basically so some of it is just like science that you really can't explain um it's just like real life hormones that's like going on i'm just feeling weird and blah i don't know and it's like i felt really guilty too because it's like why am i sad like i got this beautiful child just gave birth to a beautiful child like what am i sad about like it makes you feel guilty because you feel like you should be happy like you just had a brand new baby like you should be filled with joy and of course you are like i'm filled with joy like my heart is so thankful and so glad that he's here but i can't shrug off my all my feelings because that's not all that i'm feeling <laughs> but just to encourage myself and to encourage others don't feel guilty because postpartum depression like i said is a real thing so it's nobody's fault you can never blame yourself don't feel guilty don't feel bad just allow allow yourself to go through it go talk to somebody and i'm talking to me too because i i'm taking all my advice in oh my baby's waking up my oldest baby he's always falling asleep on the floor come here Come here, my baby. Then my big baby. Aww. Aww. I love you so much. But yeah, like I was saying, just um, just to encourage myself and to encourage anybody else who might be facing postpartum depression. We gonna get through this. We gonna get through this. Oof, y'all. We just had a whole breakdown, didn't we? A whole meltdown. The little one just chilling. And Alex acting a fool. You gonna let baby brother show you up? But now he's got his juice and his cookies and he watching his show. So he good now. All, all it took was a little juice to get this one calmed down. And some Funyuns to get me calmed down. 
Did Isaac get kissed? Don't, don't bite him. <laughs> Ellie! There's one thing that really burns me up. It's when I'm a bitch. It's too long. Give my eyes a good kiss. I like a cool person. I like supposed to be friends. I guess Francis is talking about it. They're so sweet. The more I think about it, the more it sounds like a bad idea. The baby is milk wasted. Yes, I am milk wasted. Ooh, that was so good.